Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show. Com, the Chris Voss Show. Com. We review all the latest and greatest in social media and technology. Uh, what we have here before us is an AT and T Samsung Galaxy Note Two. Thanks to AT and T. dot com providing the phone uh, for us. And as you may have seen, we've done many reviews of the Samsung Galaxy Note Two with uh, all the other latest and greatest cell phones, mobile phones, if you will, that are out there. So be sure to watch those videos on the Chris Voss Show. dot com and our YouTube channel. Uh, what we're going to get into today is some tricks and tips on how to maximize um, the use of battery life on your Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now, we don't mean this to be the definitive um, uh, recording of you know everything you can possibly do to save battery life. This is just what I do. And I can tell you that on a 100% charge, I get about two days out of 100% charge. I don't do a lot of phone calling, but I do a lot of everything else. From the moment I wake up in bed, my uh, Galaxy Note 2 is beside me, and I'm using it from the moment I go to sleep. It's just about the last thing I look at. So uh, I do use it a lot. So let's talk about uh, the ways that I'm able to get a great battery life uh, out of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So one of the awesome things that you have with the with the uh, Samsung is, and of course this is with a lot of the Android products, the reason I like it, you can very quickly get into this quick edit, quick settings mode where you can make changes on the fly in a very fast way. Now this is awesome because uh, it's very quick and easy to turn off these uh, individual settings to save battery life and it's very easy to turn them back on. So just using a little bit of effort on your part throughout the day you can save yourself a maximum amount of battery life and charge less and all that good stuff. So one thing to always do is turn off your Wi-Fi if you leave the house or if you leave an environment you work or someplace you're using Wi-Fi you know you're going to be on the road turn off your Wi-Fi so that your signal uh, radio isn't always searching for a Wi-Fi signal and suggesting Wi-Fi's that you should be tuning into. That's really important in what you want to take and do to save and conserve battery life, especially if you're commuting and everything else and you don't need to be searching for your Wi-Fi. Otherwise this burns down the battery um, and chews it up because the the uh, Wi-Fi is on, it's constantly searching for some place where you can tap into it. If you leave the house, turn this off. Now, a lot of times when I go to sleep at night, I'll sometimes turn this off too because I've got my no notifications tuned down and uh, I really don't want it to be constantly searching for uh, stuff on the Wi-Fi. Now, that may affect your data, so you can decide whether you want to take and do that or not. Um, during the... Um, most of the time that I have my Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on, I have the GPS turned off. There's really no reason to have the GPS turned on unless you're using maps or unless you're using, uh, you know, I suppose checking with Foursquare, which not many people seem to do anymore. Uh, but for the most part, unless you're specifically using the GPS for a purpose, it's best to leave it off. That way it's not constantly running and, and juicing up the battery or juicing the battery and uh, basically costing you battery life. I always turn it off. The other thing that I usually keep off is my multi-window. Most of the Note 2s now have the multi-window feature on them. I leave that off. You know, honestly, I really love the multi-window, and you can see some tics, tips and tricks on some of our other videos for that, but I usually leave it off. Same with the Bluetooth. One of the great things about the quick settings edit you can do with the Android product is you can very easily turn on and off the Bluetooth. I wait until I either have a call coming in or... I have a call I want to make, and if it's on the Bluetooth, I'll go ahead and activate that. Now, if you're in a situation where you're getting a lot of calls, you know those calls are coming in, you can turn on, but for the most part, I leave it off. One other trick that I do is I'll use the power saving mode uh, at night or at times when I go into meetings or at times when I know that uh, I'm not going to be using the phone. This is one way you can really get a lot of distance out of your phone. If you're going to go to sleep at night, why should you have the um, power saving off and have this thing running at full freaking speed? If you use the power saving, you can gear down the amount of core and, and uh, work that the uh, device is taking use like utilizing and the amount of battery burn. So usually when I go to bed at night, I just make it a point to turn on the power saving mode and that will go ahead and conserve me battery life, make a huge difference. If I'm going into like a meeting that I know I'm going to be in for three or four hours, I'll also turn it on because usually in those meetings, people don't want to see me checking my phone. 
and usually power saving mode is really good if your phone's just sitting around you're not using it much for data uh, power saving mode is a great way to conserve your battery life um, you'll still get your calls and everything will work fine and you can do really well with it that way and as you can see I leave driving mode off all share cast although driving mode does have its space in several different ways now in my settings menu uh, under more settings I make sure that my NFC is turned off you almost never use this I don't even know what people should use it for anymore because it doesn't seem very popular but maybe it will be that's why it's there I turn off my S beam so you can see I also have that off uh, one other setting that you can take and do of course is your display setting now uh, what you can do is you can uh, adjust your brightness this is going to make up a big difference I usually like my screen really bright so what can you do you can usually set that to what works best for you uh, for the purpose of the recording I have this set to five minutes um, normally I have it set for 30 seconds so the best thing to do is to set this as low as you can possibly stand and still be able to operate your screen and be really happy with it you can see I display the uh, battery percentage which uh, keeps me up to date on where things are I don't have the auto adjust screen tone you can save a lot of power by using this and what this does is adjust the screen tone according to the analysts of images um, it can get a little weird it can get a little annoying and stuff like that I, I don't like it I don't like seeing my thing um, take and change one of the things you can do to keep your um, battery low is, or save your battery you can uh, adjust this up and down and now by doing so you're adjusting these bottom lights on the capacitive touch screen and how often they stay lit up now the bat the, they'll still activate and for the most part after you've used the galaxy note 2 for uh, a lengthy amount of time you pretty much know where those buttons are you don't really need them to light up as much because you know where they're at so you can easily just go ahead and and back off the display for those and save yourself an immense amount of battery life and those are some of the tips tips and tricks that I use to uh, monitor my battery life you can also monitor different apps that may be uh, using your um, using your battery life and everything else so uh, those are the tips and tricks that I take and use to uh, control the battery life and maximize it on my AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note. Thanks to AT&T for loaning us the phone. Be sure to check into our other our channel for other videos we're going to be doing on Galaxy Note 2 tricks and tips. Thanks for coming by.